G'day guys, I've got a microeconomics question for you today where we've been asked to consider a utility function and using the utility function we've got to find the Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions for good x and y. So basically what we have to do is we have to derive the Marshallian or uncompensated demand functions for x and y and the Hicksian which are the compensated demand functions for these two goods x and y. So basically the difference between Marshallian and Hicksian demand is that for Marshallian or the uncompensated we have to, we're trying to maximize utility. So in this case, it's going to be maximize u, which is equal to xy, subject to, so subject to some sort of budget constraint, which in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say that the budget constraint is our income is going to be totally spent on good x and good y. So the amount of good x we're going to buy is the price of x times the amount of x we buy plus the amount of y we buy which is the price of y times how much y we actually buy in units. Now so this is the Marshallian demand here. Now if we go over to Hicksian demand or the compensated demand what we're trying to do is rather than maximize our utility function we're trying to minimize our the amount of money that we spend so we're trying to minimize our in, the amount we spend on goods x and good y so px times x plus py times y subject to a given utility so subject to u equals so this is our Hicksian demand here or our compensated and this one here is our Marshallian demand or our uncompensated now so again the way that we look at this is we're trying to maximize our benefit from consuming X and Y so what we have to do is given the amount of money we have we've got to try and see what combination of good X and good Y should we buy which is going to maximize our particular happiness now in this case what we've got is we've got some fixed level of happiness that we're trying to get to or utility we're trying to get to and we have to minimize the cost of getting there so basically you can these are two ways of approaching basically the same problem. So the way that we're going to find these is using the method of Lagrange. So the, we're going to start with our Marshallian demand functions or our uncompensated demand functions. So let's just uh, write Mar. Okay, so let's, just so we know what we're doing. Cool, so let's set up our Lagrange. So we have our L is equal to, we've got our utility function plus the Lagrange multiplier times by, so that's our objective function and our constraint, we're going to make it equal to zero. So what we have is we have M take P of X, X take P of Y, y and our first order conditions so foc first order conditions for the lagrange function for this to be an optimal is that the first order derivatives with respect to x y and the lagrangian multiplier have to be equal to zero so we have to have the first order derivatives or dl dx this has to be equal to zero, so that's going to be equal to y minus lambda px has to equal zero. Our dl dy, which is going to be equal to x minus lambda py, has to also equal zero. And the finally, DL now Lagrange with respect to our Lagrangian multiplier, which is simply the inside of the square brackets M minus price of XX minus price of Y times X.
times y has to equal 0. Cool. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange these top two problems, well, these top two equations. And what we're going to get is we're going to have y equals lambda px. And we've got x is equal to lambda py. And now from there, we can get our uh, marginal rate of substitution by going the price of x on the price of y. If, we, if we're able to take these two formulas and divide one by the other, so price of x over price of y, the, the multiply will cancel. And we've got that's going to be equal to y divided by x. Cool. So what we can do is we can get these in terms of um, the goods. So we can say that, well, y is going to be equal to the price of x times x divided by the price of y. And that x is going to be equal to price of y times y over the price of x. Cool. So what we then do is to figure out how um, much of each of these we're going to buy. We then have to substitute these into our income constraint so we can get um, what amount of each good we can get given a particular amount of income. So we have Let's just move down to here, so I'll just, so it's easy to follow. We stick these into our income. So we'll start with the Y. So we've got M is equal to the price of X times X plus the price of Y. Instead of running Y, I'm gonna go times the price of X x over the price of y. Now hopefully you guys will be able to see pretty quickly that those two will cancel out. And when we rearrange this, well, collect our like terms, we're going to see that m is going to equal 2p of x times x. So in terms of x then, we're going to get x is equal to m divided by 2 times p of x. Cool. Now if you do exactly the same but you substitute x in for where x is so you have it all in terms of y, you're also going to get y is equal to m over 2 times the price of y. And these are our uncompensated Marshallian demand for X and Y. So we have, as you probably are aware, we needed to maximize the utility given a budget constraint. So our demand function in, term, in our Marshallian situation needs to be in terms of income and prices. But what we're going to find in Hicksian demand is that the Hicksian demand for X and Y is going to be, instead of income, it's going to be in terms of utility and prices. Okay, for our Hicksian demand, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our Lagrange using our objective function, which is what we're trying to minimize, which in this case our income, subject to this utility constraint. So let's set up our Lagrange. So we've got L is going to be equal to, in this case, p of x times x plus p of y times y plus the Lagrangian multiplier and the constraint set to zero. So we've got u minus x y. Cool. So then what we do, like the Marshallian demand, we take our first order conditions 
and these are going to be that we've got dl dx, which should be equal to the price of x minus lambda y equals zero. We've got with respect to y, it's going to be equal to the price of y minus lambda x is equal to zero. And we have the derivative of the Lagrange with respect to the multiplier, which is going to be equal to u subtract xy is equal to zero. So what we're going to do, like again, like we did over with the Marshallian demand, is we're going to take these two functions here, and I'm going to move this, so we have space, up to here. We are going to set these, we'll take the lambda y and lambda x to the other side. So we have p of x is equal to lambda y and p of y is equal to lambda x. So we're going to combine these, get our marginal rate of substitution by going p of x on p of y is equal to y on x. Again, so what we can do, like we did over here, we can rearrange this to get them in terms of y and x. So we can say, well, y is going to be equal to p of x times x over p of y. And x is going to be equal to p of y times y over p of x. Cool. So if you notice, guys, and this is important that you realize this, that the what we derive from our Hicksian and Marshallian demands at using these first order conditions are the same. And that's because they are essentially the same thing. We're just using one as an objective and one as a constraint, and then we're using the other one as the objective and the other one as a constraint. So theoretically, they should be equal. So what we're going to do now, what differs from here on out is what we do with these points. So for these points now, we're going to sub them into our constraint function. So like we did, we subbed them into income constraint in Marshallian. We're going to substitute it into a utility constraint for the Hicksian demand. So I'm going to do this for the first one. We have u equals x. And so instead of writing y, I'm going to write p of x, x over p of y. And then what I'm going to do multiply out my bracket, I've got u is equal to p of x, x squared on p of y. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two over the other side. So I'm going to say x squared is equal to u times the price of y divided by the price of x. And then I'm going to say x is equal to the square root of u p of y divided by p of x. And this one is our Hicksian demand for x. And basically like we did in the other one, you guys can work through what you do if you stick the x in for x in the utility and solve for y, but you're going to basically get the same thing. You're going to say y in terms of the Hicksian demand is going to be equal to the square root of u times the price of x over the price of y. And so here we have our Hicksian demand for x and y, or our compensated demand. So here is our Marshallian demand, so our uncompensated. And over on the right-hand side, these two are our compensated demand functions for x and y. So I hope this video helped, guys. I tried to go through it quickly because, you know, if you have a sort of an idea of what to do, you want to get through it as fast as possible so you can just see if there's anything you're doing wrong or just make sure you're checking off all the steps. The first thing you've got to do is you've got to create your Lagrangian function and then get your first order conditions right. 
you then take get your marginal rate of substitution from your first two first order conditions and then you can use them to solve into your constraint functions to sub into your constraint functions sorry and the only thing that differs between these two is what the constraint function is that you're subbing into at the end so guys it just takes practice this is a quite a simple one when the um, utility function gets like more difficult more complex these um, the algebra gets a lot more like difficult to figure out but you know it's exactly the same steps it's just a little bit more intense algebra but if you have any problems with this video leave them in the comment section below I'm always happy to answer any issues that you have or make any suggestions um, but until next time guys just enjoy your economics